What's up everybody, John Christian from Barron's Performance Warehouse here for some trailer talk. A frequently asked question that we get is how to set your ring gear to the proper clearance between the idler gear um, for your bell housing. And a couple things that we're gonna go over today is not only just how to check for that clearance, but also a couple things to look for as well. Um, with improper clearance, one of the things that you'll see is a tune-up ring gear on the back of the motor. Uh, on this example here, uh, you'll see that there is a couple of gears that are chewed up, and, and a lot of times that is just because of you know the ring gear either being too far away from the idler gear or too close to the idler gear. Um, same thing goes for the idler gear that sits in the bell housing. So this bigger ring is going to be the part that's going to actually uh, be engaged to the starter, um, you know, with it being too far or too away, um, you'll see, you know, wear on that gear. And same thing goes for the smaller gear, which is what actually engages into the ring gear on the back of the motor. Um, even though it's got rounded off edges, it's supposed to just so that for, you know, when it comes to proper engagement, um, you, you have a smooth transition. But if it's, you know, too far away or too far forward, it'll end up doing what is, uh, what you see on this gear where it ends up chewing up the teeth and you're gonna end up having to replace um, either or, or sometimes even both. Now, as far as how to check for proper clearance, uh, it's, it's a very simple process. Um, one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to have your starter installed. And one thing that we try to remind customers is if you have the opportunity to have the transmission uh, off of the bell housing, uh, it's one of the best and easiest ways of checking for good clearance. Um, now, and the reason why is because uh, on the ring gear itself, with the way that it sits um, in the bell housing, uh, we want the starter mounted because you'll notice that the idler gear actually gets pushed out a little bit with the starter uh, mounted. And, you know, obviously because the starter is what starts the race car, um, you, you want to make sure that, you know, everything is simulated at, uh, you know, racing conditions. So with the starter engaged, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a feeler gauge and go between the little head on the idler gear and the edge of the ring gear, and you're gonna to wanna to check for anywhere between 80 thousandths to 100 thousandths worth of clearance. Now, Burt's made this super easy because they've developed a ring gear that's got 80 thousandths clearance already built into it. Um, back in the day, they were using a standard ring gear and you would have to use shims and a lot of it turned into guess and check um, with your feeler gauge as to how many shims to add to where you were you know removing bolts adding shims or taking away shims and uh, the clearance just became a very harder thing to uh to achieve and um like i said burt's made it super easy because that clearance is already built into the flywheel um with one of those flywheels it's really more just you know you're checking to make sure that you're within those proper parameters recommended by burt um if you have any questions give us a call at 845-651-7389 and that's this week's trailer talk tip